Hi, this is Chen Nguyen from Finale Inventory. In this session, I'm going to show you how you can create a order in Finale and then send the order, automatically sync the order to ShipStation for shipping and fulfillment. So let's open up our application. And one of the features I want to really highlight that's you know, one of the advantages of using Finale to create sales orders is Finale has the ability to have pricing tiers for various products. So in this example, let's look at the blue polo shirt here. And when I click on the product details page, as you scroll down, you can see that we have multiple prices. So the normal price that we sell it for is $10. But for VIP customers, we have it for $8. And for wholesale customers, we have it for $9. So one thing you can do is you can one thing you can do is you can associate these different price tiers for your customers so that way they're always getting the right price when you create the sales order. So let's create our sales order. So I'm going to create on new sale. I'm going to create system order ID. And I'm going to type in one of our sample customers. Let's say it's Steve Smith. Um, as you see here, the price level associated with Steve is the wholesale price. I'm going to select, you know, let's say it came in through a uh, phone order and I want to have standard priority. So I type in what I'm going to uh, sell them. So let's just say it's blue polo shirts for two. And as you remember, the price of the um, retail price was $10, but because he had the wholesale price associated, it's automatically going to populate that. So we mark sale committed, meaning it's a firm order we have placed with him. And then what we do is we just have one more operation called sync to ship station. Okay. So now Finale is going to automatically sync this order to ShipStation. Uh, but let me first review a couple of settings that you, you um, should be aware of. So if I go back to connections and click on the push status and shipment info to ShipStation, I click on edit task configuration. So I want to highlight two additional configurations uh, to customize your account. So one is um, is to associate the mapping between Finale location and ShipStation uh, warehouse. So in this case, I have two warehouses, two locations, Maine and South Phoenix, and you can decide um, the ShipStation warehouse. So you, you can use the default, whatever it is set to in ShipStation default warehouse, or you can actually set it. So in, this, in my demo, I have it set to Dayton and South Phoenix uh, as two warehouses I have in my ShipStation account. So in this case, I have it to default. And then also, when the orders come to ShipStation, you can also um, assign it to a store. In this case, I can assign it to manual orders. Uh, but there's no reason why you couldn't create, for example, a manual store called Finale Inventory. So that way, all the orders are basically grouped together in Finale Inventory. OK? So let me go back to connections. And so Finale is going to sync orders up to sync, uh, ship station every five minutes. So I want to manually run it so we don't have to wait by hitting selecting run task now. If I click on view status wall, you have a better sense of what's happening. So I believe this is the order that we created, 14689. If I go back to now ship station, I click on awaiting shipment, and it should be this new order. Here it is, blue polo shirt for Steve Smith. Okay. So now you know this order is in, in ship station and you would just handle it the you know like every order you have, you know, an order coming from Amazon or eBay. And all you do is you would print the shipping label out. Uh, I'm just going to manually sync it or ship it, mark it as ship, since it's not connected. This account's not connected to a carrier account. Uh, but you would, in your in your problem, most likely would just basically print out the shipping label, mark it as shipped, and then when you mark it as shipped, what Finale is going to do is then Finale is going to sync the order down um, again, and Finale is going to see that the order has been shipped. And when the order has been shipped, Finale is going to basically then decrement the order. So let's find it. 
So now it says completed. It has a shipment summary. And if we double click on this, what we'll see is we'll click on the shipments tab and we'll see that basically the order was created by me, Finale staff, but then it was shipped on 818 from the ShipStation connection through the API. And as you see here, Finale decommitted one unit from this order. So that's how, you know, that's a brief overview of how you can create a order in Finale and then send it to ShipStation for shipping and fulfillment. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to check our new help center. Uh, there's a lot of detailed um, information on this, set, on this feature. Or if you have any questions, feel free to email us at service at finaleinventory.com. Thank you.